In the last episode, I took you through our trip to Oshkosh and a few Sunday arrivals. If you haven't watched that episode yet, click on the top right of the screen and watch it first. Now it's time to cover the Irvin Tree event in the air shows. We woke up to the sweet sound of L-39 jets and various other warbirds as we got ready to enter the main event. Of course we started our day going by the warbird area, checking out various Corsairs, TBM Avengers, and P-40 Warhawks before making our way to the vendors where we could see the new stuff and buy some merchandise. Of course we had to stop at the Honda tent, where they showcased various generators, apparel, outboard engines, and of course, the beautiful Honda jet. We eventually made our way over to the Ford tent, where they did a demo of the all new Bronco, and showcase the all-electric Mustang Mach-E. They also had a new Ford Lightning there, which was pretty cool to see one in person. As we were walking around, we were very quickly distracted by the brand new Cessna Sky Courier. It's a beautiful plane, and I can't wait to see what Textron does with this airframe. Before long, we migrated over to American Champion to see what they had to offer. And then we moved on to Cirrus to check out the latest Vision Jets and SR-22s. We ventured over to Piper, where they showcased the M600 SLS, the M350, and various other training aircraft. After leaving Piper, we stopped by the Icon tent and visited with some cool people. The Icon A5 is a really awesome amphib, and I'd love to get some time in one. Following Icon, we made our way to the flight line to watch the air show. This wraps up our third day at Oshkosh. Be sure to check out part three to see what we do tomorrow. Thanks for watching.